Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Supergirl Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where we have arrived, sort of, at the end, maybe. We are at the Elite Four anyway, we are at the Indigo Plateau. Ugh, we had a rough episode last time we lost. The Data Driven Dragon Slayer, Data the Dugong, terrible, terrible loss. And right at the end, right at the end, who to bring on? Now look at this, we also happened to catch Raphael the Blastoise in the last episode. Very cool. Sort of the, uh, like, the last time, the last time I played through Kanto, I lost my Blastoise moments before stepping on Victory Road. And then, moments after stepping onto Victory Road this time, we caught a Blastoise, which is amazing, which is amazing. It makes me, it makes me feel good. It helps me reinforce the idea of the rain team. But I think who we're gonna bring on is Mythos, who we've been talking about the whole game, who has been patiently waiting. The fact is we have Bla we have Raphael. If something, if something happens, I mean, let's, let's just take a quick, let's take a quick summary look at Raph real quick. Here, water gun bite Robinson. So those moves are terrible, first of all. How's it these? Um We can fix those moves. We had a we actually the last time my, my Blastoise died, the last time I lost a water Pokemon at this point of the game, we brought on a Polyrath. So you know what? We have. We have the two former members. But how fitting for the randomizer to bring in Mythos the Melodic, who's been patiently waiting in the box, who I think this is it. I think this is what, which means we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to do some grinding. Um, but we are obviously committed to team rain dance at this point. Actually, I should have, um, I don't know where we're going to grind. The thing is we're going to have to grind with the whole team anyway. Like, I don't think we're quite there. I would love for everyone to be at, at least like 55. I think that seems reasonable to me heading into this final section of the game. The question is where should, I mean, grinding in Victor Road is probably the best spot to do it. it with the exception of uh, for Mythos, who um, is going to need some lower levels to fight against, as it were. Um, so where did I do the grinding with Reichlich? Was it in, I think it was in Cinnabar, but we're even lower level than that. We need to go, we need to go smaller. So first of all, let's let's just shift. We'll fly. We'll find somewhere. We also need to pick up some other key items, I think, for Mythos the Melodic, who is finally going to be on the team. We're going to fly, I think, immediately to Celadon City. There we go. Hey, I think you disappoint for the fly. Thank you for the fly. You know what? Disappoint. Despite all of our differences, low these many. Um this journey, you have proven yourself to be a reliable Pidgey, Pidgeotto. Um, we will not hold it, we will not hold anything against you here. So first things first, what we need is Ice Beam. That's what we're gonna get. Nope, none of these. TM13, let me double check that TM13 is indeed Ice Beam. Hold on a sec. TM13. Leaf green. Ba, 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 ba. 13 is ice cream. So we need 4,000 coin, which means I think right now we have uh, 0, 000 coin. Um, let's see. If you walk around, these people will just give you a bunch of coins. I'm pretty sure, right? It'd be fantastic if we had it in us to get the. Um, Look, there's 10 coins. We're almost there! 20 coins! We're practically rich! 20 more coins! 10 coins are just on the ground! That's amazing! Uh, there's just coins all over the place. People are dropping stuff in this casino. Look, there's 10 more coins. Amazing, amazing. I think we're just gonna kinda do this for a second. So my thought for uh, Melodic is that we're gonna give it Ice Beam. Hey, 20 coins, nice. Um, we're gonna give it Surf, we're gonna give it Toxic, and we're gonna give it, um, whatchamacallit, 10 coins, Recover, which it'll learn on its own. 
So that to me seems pretty solid. Recover, Toxic, Melodic, In the Rain, um, with Surf and Toxic. That makes it seem like pretty hard to knock down lest it hits something really, really dangerous. The question is what other, um, what are we, what's our main threat at this point, right? I think the main threat, yay, is if we come across, based on the last episode, <laughs> our main threat is a thunder user within the Elite Four. We can only assume it'll be Peaches. Um, another big threat is of course, just to be on the lookout for because of all their tricksy trapsies. Look at all these free, all this free money on the ground. I don't even think we found the big one yet. Well, maybe there's not, maybe it's just not here anymore, but there used to be a hundred coins somewhere. Uh, but maybe I'm just missing it. Oh, 10 coins, wow. Or maybe not, or maybe I'm tired of doing this, so. Um, I need five, so we're gonna have to spend some coin here. That, that, yep. Boy, this is draining our resources. We really, this is how bad we want the ice beam. This is what, this is what we're investing in mythos up front. TM 13, ready? Boom. Oh wow, they do tell you, they tell you ahead of time. Okay, well we got it, it's too late. We have got it which means we have all the other attacks we're going to need. I don't know where we're gonna train. Um, up, 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 up. Where feels like good level 20? What's what's the, what's the section of the game like? Level 19, so that's pretty close to what we're looking for. Headbutt, we headbutt, we win, but there goes Drax. The nice knockout on the Venomoth. Um, let's just go ahead, we'll, tr we'll see what we can do here. Um, Bills BC, we're gonna move Pokemon. We're gonna get Mighty Mythos, here we go. The game is the foot, y'all. Oh my gosh, the question, so we have to do some grinding for sure, obviously, but then, then, what's next? Like, we're just there, we're at the Elite Four. Um, so it's very, it's very nerve wracking, because I'm like, I don't, I like, are we ready? I don't know what we're going to be up against. With Yes, uh, let's see, who should forget? Uh, we can get rid of Rap, for sure. Doesn't matter, machine set, yeah. We're going to learn Toxic, here we go. We're using up a bunch of good DMs on Mythos, so. Uh, we are, we are really counting, got a water sport, ready? Boom, machine set. And then, uh, where's our new Ice Beam? Boom, Mythos wants to learn Ice Beam. And I guess this, at the moment, we'll keep refresh until we get to recover. There we go. All right, we have our ice type attack back on the team. We have our, uh, our the rain dance is in full is in full effect. Ampharos. Okay, see immediately, this is what we're afraid of though. We do not want to come up against the electric types. They are so dangerous to us. Um, super effective indeed. So I don't want to fight in that grass if I'm going to have to constantly fight Ampharos. I don't need that. I don't need that kind of danger lurking around every corner. The other things we don't want to come against the Elite Four are a, I think Ghost would be scary because we've seen what Destiny Bond can do. Psychic would be scary. Uh, grass <laughs> would be scary. Oh uh, look, a ghost. Um, does this thing have the fearful nightshade? Okay, that's not cool. Um, Knock off, yeah. Well, we got a bunch of experience, I know, but look, a Magikarp, that should be easy to defeat, right, you'd think? Splash, mm-hmm, dead. You're defeated, Magikarp, first we got zero experience for that. Um, once we get a little bit more health, a victory bell, see? This is like the tricky stuff, like, we have an ice type attack, we could fight it. But uh, obviously the answer for grass is not a huge problem because we just, we still have Dracus, right? Um, and Dracus one resists grass and is two part flying. So there's that. If we come across a psychic type though, and they have the Wobbuffets, we're gonna be in ourselves one big old 
situ situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be very, very difficult to cope with that. There's so many victory bells in this grass. If, if we come up across some Destiny Bond users, we're going to have to be very careful as well. Um, the thing about them coming up against Thunder is we have Earthquake on Drakus here. And Drakus should be, even though it's flying, it should be neutral because Dragon resists electric. <sighs> so there's that. And we can Earthquake and we're fast. So now most um, electric types are very fast as well. Freaking! So there's that to consider. If we come up against our own Dragon type trainer, we can, of course, bring in Mythos to just... Uh, Oh boy, this is gonna take forever, you guys. Forever. I need a good spot where this is gonna be. I don't think this is the spot to trade. <laughs> I don't think this is the grass. But those character 23. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, a hair across! <laughs> so many things. So many things! Um, I'm gonna do some grinding, and uh, then we. I will, I will report back to you with how it goes. But uh, until then, enjoy the music. I will see you in a minute. Here we go. Oh, immediately I forgot the Wobbuffets were in this. We're just gonna do this. Now you can't do anything, ha! Your safeguard is worthless. Now I would just sit here and look at this. We have a way around the Wobbuffets. Immediately we can just do this because now the poison will take them out inevitably. And that's that. If that, oh my gosh, why didn't that? I don't know why. I thought we just lost again. I cannot believe that just that. I don't know why Destiny Bond didn't work there. Maybe Destiny Bond works based on attacks rather than based on poison. Obviously we survived. That was horrible. We're not gonna fight in that grass either. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops. <gasps> the nerves, the Altaria. Okay, this is good, we can fight this. Okay, it's dead. Oh my gosh, I'm so, oh, look at that, we go to level 24. Amazing. Oh my gosh, that was so much grinding. We are finally there. Probably wouldn't have been so bad, except we had to get Mythos up from level 20 to 55. Oh my gosh, but we have done it. Have a look here at our mighty team. We have got Goop. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go through the summaries here. Ready? We've got Goop the Kyogre. My goodness, look at that attack. Look at that special attack stat and most important, Importantly, the special defense stat. We've got CC. We've got Mythos. Okay, Mythos, pretty, pretty solid stats as well. Very special defensive, very defensive in general. Very reliable. Um, the move set was working out very good. Surf, Ice Beam, great options. Toxic and Recover, another really powerful combo because just the longer, um, if you can just stall them out, Toxic will kill them, uh, no matter what. Um, if you don't know how Toxic works, every turn it does twice as much damage as it did last turn. So I think um, the math is that six turns will kill anything unless it heals itself in some way. Um, and we have Recover, so we should just be able to be like, okay, we're just going to watch you die now. And then we can also chip away with Surf and Ice Beam as well. So very, very good. Um, happy up to level 55. Let's take a look at them stats. Oh, Look at that. Oh, really? I haven't noticed how good uh, Happy's defense stat is, actually. That's that's good. Um, we actually I have a change for Happy. I'll come back. I'll come back to him. Uh, there's Dracus. Skyrocket. Is 162 the highest of anything on the team? Uh, the highest single stat on the team? Let's see. It, no, the special defense on Kyogre is a little bit better than Dracus there. And Sporkles! Whose special defense is not to be laughed at either? 122? What? What? That's higher than happy. That's higher than pretty much everyone except for me. That's still third. It's still third. I mean, let's, you know. Uh, but uh, so I have some final last minute little things we're going to do. First, we're going to use Rick Hand. You may have noticed I stopped Sporkles at 54. I thought it was a fitting gesture 
that we spend our last our candy getting raising sporkles the final level ready boom there it is level 55 sporkles who's been with us since nearly the beginning our shiny little minin who knows no fear we also um i went i flew back to celadon i will say i was trying to i was gonna also purchase thunderbolt because i was like you know what I think we can replace Spark with Thunderbolt. However, uh, we do not have enough money <laughs> to buy it, so that is a bummer. Um, what we do have, though, is at least one more other, one one more other, that's good English, good, very solid English. Um, we have at least one more thing I'm gonna change, which is the move, Attract, which we are going to give to, oh yes, Happy. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely, let's go. We're gonna get rid of Bite because we don't have very, this is a special attack. We don't have very strong special attack. But you know what we have, Unhappy, is a uh, very attractive glutes. Am I right? So there we go, we're gonna get rid of Bite in favor of Attract. Kabam, Happy learned Attract. Oh, so fun. So I'm just saying, I mean, I think, I think if Happy uses Attract, we gotta whoop. Pull the sensor bar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me check the berry pouch. Maybe there's something in here. Can we ground up, ground up? Restores HP, but may cause confusion. Oh, that's so terrible. That's so bad. Why are these even things that you have to deal with? The other thing we need to do is just go right here. Uh, full restore. How many can I buy? Oh my gosh, this is, hmm. We can only buy five. That's not very good. Um, that's not as many as I want. This is what Ice Beam cost us. Oh, whoops. Okay, yeah, there we go. Can we sell some things? Uh, sell. Uh, please let me. Can I sell some berries? No, 10. Not even worth selling. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, the cl cleanse taz. 100. That's worthless. How much? Those aren't. They just don't sell for high enough. Repels, we could, oh gosh, they're not. That's not even gonna get us. Okay, that might, I'm gonna sell those. Guard spec, no, terrible. Oh gosh, this is a potential problem, isn't it? Escape ropes? Unless we can get up to another, how much can we sell this for? 1,000, let's do that. So, the escape ropes. Yeah, we need we need 500 more, is what we need. Now, I, that might actually be useful. Super repel? Okay, we're getting rid of the super repels. We're not gonna need them, obviously, once we're in there. We should use the PP up. Is that, we can get a lot for it. I almost think it's better if we use it, you know? Oh gosh, we may as well just sell it, right? It makes no difference, we're not gonna need it. Um, buy, full restore, we can get two more. Yeah, okay, that's good. Oh goodness, uh, we could sell some balls, I guess? Yeah, we may, like, there's just no reason, like, cause we're not gonna need them, right? Okay, let's just sell them. Because, yeah, <clears throat> we we might we definitely need more full restores. We want more full restores for sure. Okay. Also, the full heals might be good in case we just need to heal like a status. I'm gonna buy just a few of those. Let's get that there, and then let's go full restore here. Yeah, may as well. We can't, we're not going anywhere. Either we heal or we die. This is, I mean, this is this is it, right? This is it, we, what are we saving money for? If we need money, we'll get it fighting them. But that's if we do like the post game or something. Um, which who knows? Oh gosh, I wish we had more hold items. What item are you holding? I don't even know. Do you have the glasses on? Does it say? What's he got? Black glasses. Okay, so actually we should take that because now we don't have 
Does anyone have a dark move, actually? Hold on. <laughs> Is there anyone who could actually benefit from the glasses? Uh, nope. The answer is no. So, at the very least, what we're gonna do is just give Sporkles the, the glasses, right? Because, um, now he just looks cool. Now he's just like, what? He's got, this, he's got the shades on. He's ready for the fight. So, what makes all of this so freaking scary is that we don't know what we're up against. Okay, I've been thinking about it. And the obvious choices to lead with are either CC, Dracus, or Goop. Now, Goop sets up the rain immediately, and then we can immediately start launching thunders or ice beams and stuff. We can even set up with Calm Mind if we want to, if we have, like, the opportunity. CC and or Dracus, however, set up Intimidates immediately on no matter what. So immediately we start with that. That could be good as well. But I think Goop is the way to go. I don't necessarily want to lead with Goop, like just send in giant big guns out of the start, but it starts the rain. That's the only way we have to do it, and it makes the rain permanent. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, Mythos, Happy, Sporkles, and Goop can all take advantage of the rain. Dracus and Cece are not hurt by the rain in any way. Um, if we come up against electric types, those are going to be a little bit scary, but Cece and Dracus both have ground moves to deal with them. So... We've got options, and by sending them in, we immediately guarantee that we have um, Intimidates on. Sporkles has Thunder Wave, we have to remember that. Mythos can poison stuff, that's the other important thing. So, um, if we get the opportunity, we can set, oh, you know what we should do, hold on. We have that PP up too. What should we use that on? Um, Hydro Pump, I think, is our lowest, and probably one of our strongest moves. So maybe I think that's probably the answer. We're gonna go with the hydro pump here. Yeah, here we go. It's too late. We already did it. All right. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't know what we're gonna be against. Ah, it could be so bad. It could be so bad. It's, uh, it's all come down to this, you guys. It's all come down to this. Oh my god, look at us, standing right there in the middle of that Pokeball. <sighs> Alright team, let's go. Into the Elite Four. Oh, there's no looking back now! Lorelei. Lorelei, what are you gonna have? What? What is... There'll still be Monotype, we have to remember that. Okay, it's time to make it rain, people. Let's make it rain! Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they're frozen solid. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna see what you got. We got a nice full team ourselves here, all right? Oh gosh, what's she gonna have? What's she gonna have? What's her type? Magnemite, oh my God. Okay, so either she's steel or she's electric <laughs> right out of the gate. Oh gosh, if she's electric, she's gonna seriously be able to make it rain some thunders on us. That's gonna be a problem. We can also probably hydro pump this thing into the next world. So let's just, we could calm mind if we want, raise our own defense. Um, look, look at me freaking out over a Magnemite here. Like, what do we do? We could just bring in Dracus, honestly. We could just bring in Dracus. We can, um, if it's, we can Earthquake it then, right? It's not a bad move. Let's just go for it. Let's bring in Dracus here. Throw the Intimidate. Lock on. Okay, whatever. Rain continues to fall. Earthquake! Mm -hmm. Is she steel or electric? Steel or electric? This is the question. Find out next, unless she has more... Oop. Didn't get a lot of experience. All right, so she's just steel. Okay. Shouldn't really be a big deal then, I wouldn't think. We don't have any like fire type attacks, but everything, lots of these things are gonna be weak to water anyway. Let's just throw the earthquake. Yeah, super effective. So we can just earthquake a lot of the stuff down. So far, we're looking pretty good. She hasn't used a big ace, whatever that is, but she's got another Aaron here. Not a big problem. Earthquake. We do have like um, ethers and max ethers and stuff, so we can uh, 
get the PP back if we need to. Okay, what I'm worried about is like a Skarmory. Three Aarons! Oh my gosh, Aaron. I always call them Aarons. I don't know. Uh, oh, I see. You're trying to, you're trying to stall me out. That's, well, it's, you know, it's a notable strategy. All right, what you got? If she has Skarmory, that's going to be the... Um, I, that's going to be trickier because we don't have an Earthquake yet, but I think we're still okay. Uh, what's she going to have? What? This is that what a terrible lineup. Four Aerons and a Magnemite? Come on, Lorelei. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? That was embarrassing for you. Okay. Well, that was easy. One down! Look at that. We didn't even get like half a level's worth of experience out of that. All right. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All we lost was uh, the PP on the earthquakes. Uh, so I don't think we even need to restore that just yet. We're just gonna carry carry on into Bruno. But it's not like a, so we got one easy. It doesn't matter. It only takes one hard one, right? We have to steal, steal. Okay, here we go. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through vigorous training, people in Pokemon can become strong without limit. I lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon and that will never change. Jay, we will ground you down with our superior power. <laughs> We'll see. Maybe I am. I don't know what he's got yet. He does look like he goes to the gym a lot. Lenoon! Oh, he's a normal type trainer. Well, 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 Lenoon. Lovely. Lovely. So, they will just resist a lot of stuff. Um, but not too concerned. I think what we're going to do is go to CC. He could have like a slacking or something, though. That could be. We'll just intimidate right here. So far, the rain has not been a huge difference. Slash is scary because it has high critical hit chance. That's always a problem. Uh, we can also charm stuff. I think we're just gonna, oh, okay. Brick break, it's fast. That thing's fast, but we punch. We punch. Oh, it survived. My goodness, my gracious. Okay, can we X anything here? X special, guard spec. Prevent stat reduction among the party Pokemon. That might, might be okay. Um, I think we're good. I think we're just gonna hold. We can just charm them, honestly. That doesn't, I mean, not that I'm that concerned. Let's just hit it with, let's just see how strength does. Okay, so it's not as good. Go brick break. It went to sleep. Okay, well, that's fine too. What? The only thing is that it was faster, so maybe I should have considered that. Could have used X speed or something. Knockdown! Okay, okay, okay. You know who could come in here. Mighty Sporkles. In fact, dare I say. Dare I say! Hmm? Dare we make it thunder on this bird? I don't see why not. Make it thunder! Hypnosis! No good. I like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna go to the poke flute. Don't need any sort of weird dream eatering or something. Okay, not a, not a, that's fine. Uh, let's make it thunder. Let's take advantage of the rain, shall we? Boom, oh, sporkles. Oh, paralyzed, hypnosis. I think uh, he's probably gonna use the full restore. So we're just gonna spark. This would kill it either way. He didn't use four storms. So okay. <sighs> grand bull? Oh no. Oh, they've got their own grand bull. That's scary. We don't like that. No, we don't. Uh, I think we're going to switch too. <laughs> uh, let's bring in, I think, Gracchus here. Uh, yeah. They throw the intimidate. <laughs> Look at that. Those sporkles got a kill in the Elite Four. Is anyone surprised? No, of course not. Um, let's go for the potential paralysis here. Oh, we got it! Excellent. Take down. Miss. Uh, let's just... Oh! Paralyzed can't move. Are they going to full restore now? Doesn't matter. 
Oh, apparently he's just not using them. I'm surprised. I'm not sure why they're not full restoring. Clefairy! This would be a bad matchup in future gens because it'd be part fairy type. Um, and we'd be stronger against us and we wouldn't be able to affect it at all, but as it were. Oh, their special defense rose. Interesting. That doesn't really matter because we're physically based for the most part. Everybody's dead! Drac is taking names, cleaning house, and a Dodrio to finish us off here. So now we're looking very good. Um, we can, if we if we felt like it, we could bring in Sporkles again to rain more thunder down. Dodrio is really fast. There is that. Oh, it got paralyzed. So, oh, oh, no! The crit, the critical hit. Oh, and I will say this. I think this is a time for one of our full restores because Dodrio is known to have um, Pursuit. So I don't think switching is safe against this. Just went for another drill pack. Okay. Woo-wee! That was scary. Let's go for the para flinch. Yeah, light screen wore off. Oh, that's part of why I didn't do so much damage because the this is his ace Pokemon. So he had the that up last time. I think we just go for the para flinch again. Flinched. Oh, now he uses the full restore. Paralyzed again. Try attack. This could paralyze, burn, and or freeze us. Rank to these fall. Okay, we should be good to just Dragon Breath for the win. Whew. That Dodrio. That crit on the drill pack. Ah! People are like, why is Ben's favorite Pokemon Firo? That's why. Of course, that was a Dodrio, but it's a, it does the same kind of scare. <laughs> um, Forest Store, let's go right there. Only two pokes took damage. Oh wait, is that right? Or did, I thought um, Sporkles and CC both took damage as well. Do we want to burn the full restores right now? I think I'm gonna feel uncomfortable switching in otherwise, and we've still got a bunch. This is why I wish we had some like other potions that weren't like necessarily so beefy, that didn't cost us so much, but so we could save those, but we have 11 more, so. Here we go, on to Agatha, two down. So far we've had Steel and Normal. Bruno was harder for sure. Lorelei with their four little Aerons, I mean. Whatever, good for her, you know? What's, what's Agatha gonna have? What you got, Agatha? The Crawdon! Okay, this is excellent. You know why? Okay, so she, so she could be dark or she could be water. Uh, if she's water, this is about to be real easy. Because <laughs> we're just gonna make it thunder on everything. Ah, uh, okay, there you go, Goop. Crawdon, okay, so we actually still don't know. Still be either. I don't know if Crawdons have like um, guillotine on them. Is that a thing? Cause like the, doesn't matter. So far they're not surviving anything. Calendor, so they're actually, actually a dark type trainer. Um, hilarious, oh no, I didn't mean to use thunder. I doubt it lives anyway. I was gonna use hydro pump there, but. Um. Oh, it survived and we took damage. I don't like it. Hydro pump. Now watch us miss. God, this could be the worst. Okay, we got it. Hey, we hit. Now you're dead. Okay, so Agatha not departing much from her usual tactics of a um, like ghost poison trainer. Now she's just dark, so sort of the same vibe. Let's see, three down though. Houndor, another Houndor. She's got a bunch of repeats on here. I guess, well, I was gonna say, I guess maybe that's how she normally is, because she normally has like two Gengars and a Haunter. Um, oh, we missed now. Oh my gosh, the, the crunch was so strong. Uh, Hydro Pump though, but you're dead, but you're dead, right? Okay, see ya. And a Sableye, her ace Sableye. Let's, I think it's Hydro Pump it again. Yeah, that should do it. It is stronger than us. No, it's dead. Okay. Well done, Goop. Took Agatha all by yourself. Amazing. So far the Elite Four, uh, they've been okay to deal with. 
Okay, so far. We have Lance. Who knows what Lance could have? It really wouldn't be that bad if he just also had dragons. We've made good use of the rain too. We were able to um, utilize it for some thunders there. We've had some hydro pumps, a little extra boost. I'm not sure if the hydro pump would have knocked out that sable eye otherwise, but uh, here we go. No, no time to get cocky. No time to get cocky. Who knows what they could have? You can call me Lance the Dragon Slayer. You know the dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Watch him be a flying type trainer, which would be hilarious because that's actually what he really is. Not really a dragon trainer. He's a flying trainer. Um, Curlia, Curlia. Oh, we're haunted by the ghost of Curlia. He's a psychic trainer. But if he has a Wobbuffet, we are. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, first of all, Calm Mind. Let's set up on this thing. Hypnosis! Okay, well, we've set up one. I don't wanna risk another. Oh, we didn't. Uh, okay, we don't have a lot of hydro pumps left. Not a huge problem. Blast this thing in its face. If he has a Wobbuffet, we know what to do. It's okay, we got it. I can handle it. I can handle it. Okay. Goop! You did it! Medicham. Why is it always Medicham, you guys? I hate Medicham so much. It's one of my least favorite Pokemon. Okay. Um, just go Hydro Pump. Look at that. Look at the accuracy on Goop. Boom. Yes. Okay. Two down. Two down. Psychic types, I swear. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. One of them is going to be psychic. Of course, one of them psychic. Clayton. Oh no! Oh no. Okay. Okay. We know what to do. We know what to do. We've been here before. Cece, get out here. Intimidate. Sandstorm. Oh, they stopped the rain. Interesting. Interesting. We're also gonna do this. Cosmic power, what is that? Defense rose, special defense rose. Okay. But your attack harshly fell. Um, we're gonna do that again, because I really don't want the explode. If he uses, okay, so at this point, it really doesn't matter because he's totally, we're gonna do it one more time just for really um, sandstorm rages, okay. Let's go now back to Goop to start the rain. So we don't have to deal with this annoying. Yeah, rain ball. Well, Boy, he's trying, really trying to set up with this thing. We can't hydro pump anymore. Thunder, I don't think we'll be gonna get. Let's try an ice beam. Let's see how this does. Oh, the crit from Goop. Goop's so strong. Goop is so strong. And of course, and of course, oh no, can we, does it, oh no, oh no, okay, uh, oh no, oh no. Okay, so here's the situation, <laughs> okay, here's the situation. I think it's level 58, it's basically Wobbuffet, um, but just the other form. It's gonna have the exact same stupid tactics, is the problem. Oh no, okay, so, here's what I think. We need to make sure we one hit KO this thing. We cannot switch. So here's what we're gonna do. I think I'll, let's, here's what we're gonna do. I have an idea, I have an idea. We need to use the ether on Hydro Pump. Safeguard, okay, okay, covered by a veil. Rain can use the ball. He can't change the weather. It will keep raining. We can't switch. We have to use goop. The worst thing that can happen is we hit it for 90, for about 100 damage. If we hit, there's no, I don't think any way we could do less than 100 damage with the attacks we have. Like, goop is just too strong. The question is, can we make sure we kill it? Now we have the fact that it's not evolved on our side. So here's what I'm thinking, is that we're just gonna calm mind 
and make ourselves as strong as possible. Mirror code, okay, so he has that. Okay, calm mine. We're gonna calm mine all the way up. <clears throat> make our hydro pump as strong as possible. We are gonna have six calm mines plus hydro pump plus Goop's innate abilities. He's using mirror code every time. That's making me so nervous. Um, Rick needs to fall. Okay. We're pretty much as strong as we can be. If we just knock it out right here, that's game. However, if that why not survives this hit and hits us with mirror code, I... It will be bad. It will be bad. Here we go. Hydro pump. Oh god, please, please die. Okay, okay I was gonna say, it, there's no way it doesn't die off that. And with that... Oh no, he has one more, oh no! An unknown! That's your big ace poke? Oh, oh, I'm just gonna ice beam this one for the kill. This doesn't even have moves. We're already six calm minds up. What? I thought that, oh. Whew. That had me sweat, that had me sweat. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Jay. You are now the Pokemon champion. Oh, you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face. His name is Peaches. That rotten peach. That rotten peach. Oh my gosh, okay, so let's see. What is the situation? How are the Pokemon looking? We, you know, I would say that CC hasn't really taken much damage there, but I also don't see any reason to conserve the full restores going into the final fight here. We, everything has been leading up to this. I had those matches taken a little bit longer. I will, probably would have said, let's just stop. Let's make the final battle its own episode, but we've just been, Everyone's been doing pretty good. I'm feeling on a roll, and I think we can do this. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Strategy is the same. Head in with Rain Dance, set up if we need to. Here we go. Hey Jay, I was looking forward to seeing you. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. And not only that, I assembled teams that would defeat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion. Jay, do you know what that means? I'll tell you, I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. Here we go, here we go. Altaria, okay, so he's dragon or flying. No big deal, no big deal. <sighs> if he's dragon, we can just ice beam this guy down, no problem. <clears throat> then we can even calm mind right here. Part of me wants to, it doesn't really matter. Let me just double check. Who has the higher, there's no, I mean, Let's just double check real quick who has the higher special attack. 160, and yours is 126. So yours is not as strong. Um, how fitting if it, would it be if Peaches is a dragon trainer now here at the end, or if he's a flying type here at the end because he's had Pidgeot the whole time. Um, let's just, let's, let's calm mind, right? Let's just take one second to set up here. Oh, the Parish Song. Okay, well that makes things pretty straightforward. Now we're gonna switch to Mythos. He's gonna, oh, he's gonna try and set up. He knew we'd do it. Oh no, okay, sneaky, sneaky. Ice Beam, Mythos. Oh! Rank needs to fall. So he's gonna die next turn and we can still switch out, so. Um, he's pretty screwed. Even if he full restores, it doesn't matter, he's gonna die. So, we can, unless he switches, which he might. We're gonna Ice Beam. Yeah, he switched. Oh, into the bag on. Excellent, okay, it's gone. Mythos getting some fights here, the Altari is back. Mythos Parish count fell to two. Okay, so we need to switch again. 
We could go. I could. I would say we could go to Dracus, but we'd just be just as weak to. Um, not just as weak. I mean, let's be real. It's use Parish Song, Dragon Dance. Um, we could lower its attack that way, and we can Dragon Breath stuff. We'll be weak to his Dragon type moves too. The best move is just to go back into Goop. Full restore. Okay, saw that coming, didn't we? Uh, let's go Ice Beam. Yes. All right. So we know his ace is the Pidgeot. He's got a Fly Guy. Boy, he does. He's got Fly Guy, Altaria, Pidgeot, Bagon. Uh, he's got some good moves. He's got some moves here. Let's go Ice Beam. Screech! Now our defense is lowered. That makes me a little nervous. He's dead. He's got nothing. Bagon. Okay. Again, it feels like at this point we know it's just Bagon and Pidgeot. Right? So. Is pretty straightforward. Um, dare we try and stop? Oh no, he said another Altaria. Okay. Um, <sighs> I think we got it. I mean, he just can't fight Goop. Goop's just so strong. This is the thing. Dare I say though, whilst I'm positive the Ice Beam will win this the whole fight. I kind of want to try and style on Peaches a little bit. Let's go. Let's go. Attack. Not effective. All right, Sporkles, bring us home. Bring it down. Bring it down. Watch it too. Da, 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 da. Oh, he survives. He's got the berry. Uh-oh. Used agility. Okay, so he's gonna go first. Probably. But it doesn't matter. The berry honestly might be hurting him more because um, now he's probably not gonna full restore. Wing attack. No chance. Even if he crit, which he didn't, it's not effective. Sparkles for the win! Boom! Dead. Spork for Pidgeot Painted. Goop gained 1100. Defeated champion Peaches. Oh, that can't be. Look at that. He was a dragon type trainer and everything. After all that work to become league champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. That's what happens. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Damn it! You are the new Pokemon League champion, although I don't like to admit it. Jay! Oh my goodness. Oak, so you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much that you first left with. Happy <laughs> to work on the Pokedex. Jay, you have come of age. Peaches, I'm disappointed in you. Came when I heard you beat in the Elite Four, but when I got here, you'd already lost. God, what did he, was he like champion for like an hour or something? How long does it take to get here from Pallet Town? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become champ again. Jay, you understand that your victory was not just your undoing. Come with me. <clears throat> uh, congratulations, Jay. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> You have worked hard to become the new champion. Congratulations to you and your Hall of Famers. The Rain Dancers. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this lovely Hall of... See if everyone lines up nicely or if it's some sort of weird, like someone's getting blocked. If someone's getting Mike wazowski here. Yeah, Goop. CC. Mythos. Happy. Dragas. And Sporkles! Uh, oh, yeah, look at them. Look at them. They're so amazing. They're so majestic and strong. Look at Sporkles standing out. Lonesome. 
the final attack, fittingly thrown by Sporkles at our hated rival Peaches. My goodness, we did it, League Champions, you guys. We did it. The randomizer. Whew, boy. There were some, uh, some truly devastating deaths along the way. Data, the Dugong, very bad. Moiren, Suisen. Lower death count than usual, though, I dare say, for a Nuzlocke. Oh my gosh, look at us staring back fondly at the building. We did it. Oh my gosh. Wow, it has been quite a journey so far through the game. Whew. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this entire um, playthrough. It has been so much fun. I've had an absolute blast with it. Um, the randomizer aspect of it was super cool. I feel like I was really happy with the team at the end. I've never, during a actual playthrough, tried to utilize any sort of weather team at all. And doing that with the rain dance, I felt like it, towards the end it was really cool. It felt like the game was pushing us there the whole way. It was sending us all the signs. I mean, there were so many legendaries we could have run into. And the fact that we ran into the Kyogre after like wondering about the rain dance for so long, it just felt so fitting. And then it felt like we got the blessing from Donatello when we caught the Blastoise. Uh, even Suizen's death, giving up, giving up his own life to help us catch the Kyogre, to catch Goop, and then immediately being reborn as the Thunder itself. My goodness, what a, what a legend. What a legendary legend. Uh, and we had, I think, I don't think Happy had any fights in the Elite Four. That's a little disappointing. We didn't get to use the attract. We didn't get to see the sensor bar one last time. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, that said, um, there is there is some post-game stuff we could do. I don't know. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. Um, you can go to like the rest of the Sevi Isles. Um, you can go into Cerulean Cave. You can even re-challenge the Elite Four. Um, and they have stronger Pokemon. So it's possible. The journey continues, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing that or if you think this is just a good stopping point. Um, if you have any thoughts about what else, what else you would like to see here on Supercomic Gaming, let us know. Uh, if you want more Nuzlocke, if you want, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what else. This has been easily, I think, the most uh, watched playthrough we've ever done. So I am, uh, I'm happy to do more. It has been a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone who became a member along the way. If you were not watching during the premieres, I would highly recommend uh, in the future maybe checking it out because it is a really fun way to be a part. I know I put them up at like 10 in the morning, so maybe you're at school or maybe you're at work or something, you know, less important. <laughs> what could be more important than some YouTubers Nuzlocke challenge? I don't know, but I suppose some people have different priorities for whatever incorrect reasons they have for themselves. You know, these things happen. Um, but if you have the opportunity, always really fun. It's uh, It was really fun watching along with everyone. Uh, really enjoyed that. Here we go, we're just gonna try and speed through the credits here a little bit. Oh, the Pikachu! Oh. I don't have much more else to say, you guys. This has been an extremely fun, just I'm really grateful you guys uh, enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun making it. Dun, 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 dun. The end? We shall see. We shall see. Oh man, well, let me know if, you, uh, if you're if you interested in any sort of post-game stuff, if you want to see more of our lovely team, uh, maybe we can uh, maybe we can work on that. Maybe we can make that happen. But well done to everyone. Uh, I will see you guys in whatever the next adventure is. Maybe it's more of this. Maybe it's something new. We shall see. We shall see. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on if you haven't already. And subscribe so don't miss any future gaming action from us. But until next time. Bye. It's a shiny mining. It's a shot. We ran into a shiny Pokemon. <gasps> sparkles. Oh, it's sparkles.
Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so happy. It was all worth it, you guys. We got a Sporkles. I haven't, did you catch any shinies yet, Peaches? I didn't think so. Oh, he sent out a mining, a less good mining, dare I say. My goodness, nothing, but what's as good? What's as good as our mining? None. Oh, just like that, Sporkles sweeps Misty. Boom. Man, Sparkles, you're so good, you're so good. Oh, another mining! How adorable! You're not as good as our mining, um, obviously. And Sparkle's a shiny mining. Everybody, everybody's favorite, am I right? Probably. Oh, <laughs> look at his pathetic, not shiny mining. He wishes, he wishes, but no. I'm awesome, I'm shiny. Consider yourself sporked. And uh, d even though it doesn't look like it, you may as well double all of these numbers because Spark Sporkles is just wrecking everything. I mean, who knows what, what secret Sporkles has. Oh, look at that shininess. Oh, you know who'd be great in this fight? Sporkles. Sporkles is so great in every fight, though. I mean, what can't Sporkles do? It's like a Sporkles. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my God. He's like, yes, I do have a little mouse on my team. His name's Sporkles. Do you want to fight him? I don't think so. Oh, look, they have a mine in too. My goodness. This isn't, of course, very shiny and sparkly like hours. The day I take that shiny Pokemon off the team is never. You can expect Sporkles to make it into the Hall of Fame or die. By which I mean Hall of Fame, because we would never let anything happen to Sporkles. We will drag him through the game if need be. I don't mind giving Sporkles lots of airtime. You guys know that. <laughs> we all know who our aces is. Mighty Sporkles. But I just like letting Sporkles flex, you know? Sporkles, one level away from being uh, strongest on the team. <laughs> He's not already. Sparkles, who's been with us since nearly the beginning, our shiny little Minin, who knows no fear.